Hello my friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. So guys, this article says it all, doesn't it? You will get chipped, eventually. Wow, that is a powerful statement, is it not? You will get chipped, eventually. And actually, when we look at what's, what's coming and what's here already, I don't think people realize what's here already. And so this article right here says you will get chipped, it's just a matter of time. And so in the aftermath of a Wisconsin firm embedding microchips in employees last week to ditch company badges and corporate logons, the internet has entered into a full-throated debate. Religious activists are so appalled they've been penny pennying nasty one-star reviews of the company, which is called Three Square Market on Google, Glassdoor, and social media. And so if we're going to look at that, I do have some articles to go in in depth a little bit more on that as well. And um, on the flip side, seemingly everyone else wants to know, is this what real life is going to be like soon at work? Will I be chipped? It will happen to everybody, says Noel Chesley, 49, associate professor of sociology at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. Uh, she says, but not this year and not in, not in 2018. Maybe not in my generation, but certainly that of my kids. And you know what? I'm going to have a live show tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. And um, it's, it's brought to us by a gentleman who actually escaped the Khmer Rouge in Cambodia. And um, he has his sources that he wants to share with us. And he says that this uh, thought, this a little bit more pleasant thought that we're not going to be chipped in 2018, 2019, you know, maybe not in our generation, is not the case. He says that uh, there are plans to chip us all in the very, very near future. And so going back to this article, Gene Munster, an investor and analyst at Loop Ventures, is an advocate for augmented reality, virtual reality, and all the other new technologies. He thinks embedded chips in human bodies is 50 years away. In 10 years, Facebook, Google, Apple, and Tesla will not have their employees chipped. You'll see some extreme forward-looking tech people adopting it, but not large companies. And again, I think that is wishful thinking uh, because I think it's here a lot quicker and, and it's going fast forward. You've probably heard of thousands of people in Sweden getting microchipped. And so this was first started in 2015, and since then, more and more people are, are becoming actively involved in getting microchipped. As you can see, he is really enjoying the procedure there, isn't he? Yes, that looks so pleasant. Please go ahead. So it's the size of a grain of rice, and it'll, it'll hold all your details. It'll get you in and out of buildings. All you gotta do is wave your hand. It does sound really, really handy, <laughs> quote unquote. Uh, but yeah, it's also very Orwellian. So you could see how people that are brought up, you know, the younger people, I would think, might be more willing to do this than some of us older people. But, you know, where is our privacy? And then we have this article uh, from a couple days ago, UK corporations to begin implanting microchips in thousands of its citizens. British companies are raising red flags with unions and employer organizations throughout the country for moving towards employee chip implants. The companies claim the implanted microchips bolster security and improve convenience for workers. Critics claim this will allow employers to control and micromanage employees. They will know where you are at every moment of the day. They will know, you know, hey, you know, if you stopped at the packy on the way home last night, they're going to know that. They're going to know when you didn't show up for church, you know, they're going to know everything. And so that's where we're heading. And microchip companies are obviously going to profit huge. There's going to be tremendous, tremendous money in this. This is going to be a huge, huge money maker. But also, I mean, right now we hardly ever leave our phones away from our sides. And now we, we will be tracked everywhere, every single move we make. They'll know how many times you go to the bathroom in a given day. Wisconsin company to install rice size microchips in its employees and this is what we were talking about This is that company three square market and so they They basically provide technology for break room or microchip markets. And so they have basically had uh, their employees implanted between the thumb and the forefinger and so 
will this become mandatory with certain companies? I mean, you see how, how nurses have to get shots and doctors have to get shots. They have to get a whole assortment of shots in order to do their job. And if you will not take the shots, you can't have that job. And so is this going to be the next step? Are we going to have that happening? So if you don't take the microchip, well, then you cannot work at this company. So 50 of the 80 employees at Three Square Market voluntarily agreed to be chipped. It doesn't really hurt at all, said CEO Todd Westby. Do you know what you're doing, dude? Do you have any clues of what you're helping to bring on? So this, this company embeds microchips in its employees, and everybody loves it. And again, this is about that three-square market, but it's not just that company. There's others as well. Other firms are starting to microchip staff as well, and, and this is out of the Express in the UK. And as we were saying, thousands are going to. The Swedish company Biohacks is one of the first ones that did it. Um, and it's just spreading everywhere, as you can see this gentleman swiping his hand. You know, are we going to be at that point where the bad guy goes and chops somebody's hand off and then now they, he could gain entry into all these different places? Well, you know, thank God we have at least one legislator that's proposed a bill that will prevent employers and state governments from requiring or coercing anybody to be implanted with an identification device. And so, you know, Big Brother is growing for sure, but Senator Ron Young, uh, who um, has basically put the Senate Bill 944 be before the Senate Finance Committee, and this bill would prevent employers and state government from requiring or coercing anyone to be implanted with the ID, you know, microchip. So what's going to happen to the bill? What do you guys think? Do you think that's going to pass? Do you think that's going to get shut down and, and just dissolved? And uh, I you know, want to thank him for at least making the effort. We'll see what happens with this. You know, this is growing, and this is something that's taking off very fast, and most people I don't think are aware of how fast this is growing. So the world is changing around us rapidly, my friends. we got to keep up on this stuff and share all these, you know, things as we learn about them with each other so we can keep abreast of all the changes and, you know, prepare ourselves in whatever ways we can for this. Um, and let's just hope that this does not become mandatory, but, you know, in in my mind, I could just see it becoming mandatory in certain industries and in certain companies. And then it'll end up eventually being just like your dog. What? You don't have your dog microchipped? Are you kidding me? What's wrong with you? You know, that's, that's I think, where we're heading. And uh, unfortunately, it's, it's progressing very fast. So I wanted to keep you guys abreast of that. And then join us again tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Very important uh, message to get out. So my friends, as always, thumbs up to support the channel. Please do subscribe, click the bell, get all the notifications, join our family and share with as many as possible so we can wake people up to what's going on. Uh, there are going to be a lot of people that are actually going to like this. They are going to like it because it's going to enable them to be a little bit lazier and to basically just you know make life simpler for them. And then there's going to be those like most of you and me that are going to look at this as just another erosion of our privacy, which we don't really have any privacy anymore anyway when you get down to it. And that's a fact, unfortunately. So my friends, stay safe out there. God bless and namaste.